Hello guys, I hope you are doing really, really well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use Samsung S Pen Fold Edition with Galaxy Z Fold 6. So let's start. The first feature is about taking notes on top of videos. For example, you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. Now you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is just select this green color bar then select this opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of this note taking app. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes. The next thing is for example if you want to do the screen recording of your note taking and the video behind you can also do it. Just bring down this quick panel and then from here select screen recorder and then select start recording. So after this countdown your screen recording will will start. The next thing is if you want to highlight anything important in your screen you can use this pen tool from the screen recorder. Now you can highlight anything important in your video. You can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera icon. You can select it and here you can see I have my front camera turned on. You can also change its position. Once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option and your screen recording will automatically save in your gallery and later you can access it and you can share it. The next step is about using Gemini. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want that information in more simpler way. So just use your S Pen, swipe from this corner, it will open the Gemini. Now select this option of add this screen. Now what you can do, you can give it any command. For example, I will write here explain this simply. So I will use my S Pen and I will write here explain this simply and then I will send this command. Now whatever I have on my screen Gemini will explain it in more simpler way. So here you can see I have all this information. Now you can copy it and you can also share it in different platforms. The next tip is about dragging image and text to your notes. For example, you are taking your notes and you want to bring some image to these notes. So just take out this edge panel open the internet browser in split screen. Now here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image but I want this image without these labelings. So I will press and hold it like this. It will open this menu and here you can see I have this option of clip subject from background. So I will select this option and here you can see only the image part will pop out. Now you can use your S Pen press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag and drop this image to your notes and then if you want you can also change its size you can crop it and you can also rotate it same way you can also bring any text for example i will go back from here and then i will open this website and now i want this text in my notes so what i will do again i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and then i will start selecting the text so I will select this text till here. Now again I will use my S Pen, I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes. And later if you want you can also edit this text. You can also do the highlighting and you can also share this text. The next step is about sketch to image. For example, you want to create an AI image. So just take out this edge panel, select this sketch to image tool and then from here select this opacity icon and then you can reduce the opacity so you can see the image behind. Now you can use your S Pen and you can start drawing on top of this image. So I will just draw on top. So I finish my drawing and here you can select any of these options. For example, I will select 3D cartoon and then I will select generate. So now AI will generate an image for you and then you can use that image. So we just have to wait for a few seconds. So here you can see AI will create these different images. 
So here you can see, you can use any of these images, you can use them in your notes, you can save them or you can also share them. If you want to change, just go back from here, then you can select any other option. For example, I will select illustration and then again I will select generate. Okay, and then it will generate an AI image. Okay, so we just have to wait and then I will show you the result for the illustration. So here you can see it will give us different options. Okay, so you can select any of these images and then you can use them. The next tip is about adding text to notes. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information. So just press this S Pen button and then start selecting the text. So for example, I will select this text till here. Now you can see we have this option of add to note. So I will select this option. So the same text will be added to my note. So here you can see all the text is available over here. You can also make it full size and then if you want you can also edit it. You can also do the highlighting as well. The next thing is on top you also have the link for the same website. So if you just select this link it will open the same website with the same highlighted text. You can also delete this link. So just press and hold it like this and here we have this delete option. So you can delete it from here. The next tip is about circle to solve math. For example, I will write some random numbers over here and then I want to add them. I want to multiply them as well. Now what I will do is I will just press and hold this home button. I will use my S Pen and then I will circle around these numbers. So it will open the calculator and here it will give me the final answer. You can also use it for complex mathematical equations. So for example, I will write over here this equation. Okay. And now again, I will press and hold it like this. I will use my S Pen and then I will circle around this equation. So now it will give me the solution and then it will also show me the step by step method. The next tip is about screen of memo. For example, your phone is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen one time like this. It will open the screen of memo and here you can write anything important. Once you finish with your writing, you can select this save option. It will be saved to your notes or you can also pin it to your lock screen. So here is the pin icon. I will select it like this and then I will select this save option. So here you can see the same screen of memo is now available in my lock screen. The next tip is about new handwriting help tool inside Samsung Notes. So if you scroll your toolbar like this, here at the end we have this new handwriting help tool. You can enable all of these options. Now whatever you write it will automatically align it to the straight line. So here you can see it will also show you this straight line. So this will be really helpful for you in your handwritings. The next tip is about sketch to image option inside Samsung Notes. For example, I will just draw this random sketch inside my Samsung Notes using my S Pen. And then I want to convert this sketch into an AI image. Okay, so I will use this note assist tool and then from here I will select sketch to image and then I will trace around this sketch. So I will trace around using my S Pen okay, like this and then it will show me different options. I can select this arrow and then here I have different options. I can select sketch, pop art, 3D cartoon, watercolor. So I will select 3D cartoon and then I will select generate and then it will create an AI image based on that sketch and it will give me different options. So I will show you. So here you can see it is giving me different images options using AI. Okay, you can use these images inside your Samsung Notes. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment.
The next step is about smart select tool. So if you want to select any specific part of your screen, you can use smart select tool. Just bring your S Pen closer to the screen. It will show you this air command icon. You can select it like this and then from here you can open smart select tool. Now you can use your S Pen and you can select any part of your screen. For example, I want to select this part. So I will just circle around like this. So it will select this specific part. You can also crop it like this and then you can do a lot of things. You can add it to your notes. You can save it. You can share it across different platforms and you can also extract text from it. The next thing is you can also select any other parts. For example, I want to select this part. I will use my S Pen. I will just tab it like this and then you can see it will select this part. If I want to select this text, I can just do it like this and here you can see all of this text is now selected. Now if you want you can also add it to your notes. The next thing is you can also pin it to your screen. For example I want to pin this image to my screen so I will select it like this and then I will select these three dots and then here is the pin option. So I will select it like this. So here you can see the same image is now pinned to my screen. Now even if I go back from here, the same image is now available. If I open any other app, for example, I open the store app, the same image is now available. The next tip is about auto format handwritten notes. For example, I open my handwritten notes and now I want to auto format these notes. I will select this note assist tool and then I will select auto format and then I will select meeting notes. And here you can see we have this option of generate text layouts. So I will select this option. So the AI will convert these handwritten notes into text and then it will organize into headings and bullet points. So here you can see the final result. So here is the final result. You can also select other styles. So if you just scroll it like this, here you can see we also have other style options also available. You can add it to your notes or you can copy it. The next step is about website summary. For example, I open this website and now I want to generate a summary for this website. So I will select this browsing assist tool. Then I will select summarize and then AI will generate a summary for this website. So here you you can see the final result. The next thing is you can also go for detailed option. So here I will select this summary style tool and then I will select detail and then I press done. Now the AI will generate a detailed summary for the same website. So here you can see the final result. You can copy it, you can share it, you can translate it. For example, I copy this detailed summary and now I will open my notes and here I start taking my notes. Now I want the same summary in my notes. So I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard. And then here you can see I have this same summary available. So I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this summary to my notes and later if you want you can also edit it. You can also use AI to generate a professional email for you. For example, I open my email and then from here I will select this chat assist tool and then I will select composer. So here you have to write the main idea. For example, here I will write feeling unwell to attend the lecture. So I will write this main idea. Okay. And then what you have to do, you have to select this arrow here. You have different options. So I will select email and then from here you have to select professional and then select generate. So the AI will generate a professional email for you. So here you can see this email. Now you can insert it and then you can edit it and then you can send it. You can also use your S Pen for digital planning. So for that you can use apps like Penly. Here we have these amazing digital planners. So you can select any month from this side and you can also select any date from the other side. You can also select this to-do list option. You also have the notes format option. So you can select any format and on top we have different tools available. For example, you can use this pen tool and now you can write anything on your digital planner. You can also create hyperlinks using this app.
The next step is about flex mode panel. For example, I partially folded my Z Fold 6 like this. It will open the Samsung Notes automatically and then I can use my S Pen. So here you can see the Samsung Notes are open and now here I can write anything using my S Pen. It will convert it into the text. You can also go back from here and then you can also use the keyboard option to type anything for your notes. The next thing is you can also go back from here and then it will show you this touchpad. Now you can use your cursor anywhere on your screen and you can also open multiple apps. So from this side you can select this split screen option. So here you can see split screen is now open. You can select any app from here. For example, you can watch a video. So I will select this video and now I can play this video and now you can watch the video and you can take your notes. You can also change the position from this side and here you can watch the video on top and in the meantime you can also take your notes. You can also bring video object to your notes. For example, I open this video and now I want to bring some objects from this video to my notes. So I will take out this edge panel and then I will open Samsung notes in split screen. Now, for example, I want to bring this object to my notes. So I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop this object to my notes. And later, if you want, you can also edit it. The next tip is about generative edit. For example, I open this image and now I want to edit this image using AI. So I will select this photo assist option and then from here I will select sketch to image and then you can select any color. For example, I select this black color and now I will use my S Pen. For example, I will create this random object over here like this. Okay, and then I will select generate. So AI will generate an image for me and it will give you different styles as well. You just have to wait for a few seconds and then I will show you the result. So here you can see the final result over here. So if you just scroll it like this, here you can see we also have other options available. So you can use any of these images. The next step is about screen write option. For example, you are reading a book and you find some interesting information and you want to share that information with your friends or with your colleagues. So what you can do is just bring your S Pen closer to the screen. Just use this air command tool and then from here select this screen write option. It will take the screenshot for you and here it will give you different tools option. So you can select any of these tools. For example, you want to highlight anything important in your screen you can do it you can also write on it and then if you want to erase you can also use the eraser option once you finish with your editing you can use this share icon and you can share it across multiple platforms you can also write on your videos using S Pen. For example, I open this video and now I want to write something on this video. So I will select this edit option and then from here I will select this decoration icon and then you can change the color. You can also change the thickness for your pen. And now if you want to write, select this live option and then you can write anything. You can also draw any shape. So whatever you want, you can write over here. Once you finish, you can select this done option and then you can play it from here. So this is how it looks like. Once you finish with your editing, you can save it and you can share it across multiple platforms. So guys, this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.